Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Today I want to talk about the period and the horizontal dilation of trigonometric functions. So if you have a look at our default sine function, y equals sine theta, okay, it goes from 0 to 360 degrees, uh, and that is one complete wave. Okay, before it starts repeating itself again from 360 to 720. So the period will be 360 because that's how long it takes before it starts repeating itself. So the period of the period of the curve y equals sine theta is uh, equal to 360 period is equal to 360 now what happens if we change the equation so instead of putting theta in here straight away we multiply it by 2 first okay let's see what happens first in um, Desmos okay if I go y equals sine bracket 2x what happened was originally the curve didn't start repeating itself until 360 degrees but now it starts repeating itself every 180 degrees right it goes up to 180 then it starts repeating itself so the period is now 180 degrees so what happened by doubling the input okay the input was originally theta by doubling the input we have halved the period okay and here's the reasoning behind that right originally theta was okay let's say let's draw the table of values theta goes from 0 to 45 to 90 actually I'm gonna draw it first All right let's say we're going to draw a graph of sine theta from 0 to 360 All right then I'm gonna fill in the values of sine theta so based on what theta is I'm gonna put that into the sine function so sine 0 is 0 sine 90 is uh, 1, 180 is 0, 270 is negative 1, 360 is back to 0 again. Okay, so that was the original curve. But what we have done in the second function, the new function, is we have firstly doubled theta. Okay, we have doubled theta, so whatever theta is, Okay, whatever theta is at the top, in the top row, right, whatever theta is over here, we're doubling it and putting it in here. So therefore, it's 0, um, 90, 180, 270, 360, right? We're doubling whatever theta is and putting it in here. And then we put this, whatever these numbers are, we then put it into the sine function as the input. Right, because that's a new function, y equals sine bracket 2 theta. So we then put that as the input to the sine function. So sine 0 is 0, sine 90 is 1, sine 180 is 0, sine 270 is negative 1, sine 360 is 0. So what's happened is... The graph, okay, the whole wave now starts repeating itself within 180 degrees. Whereas it used to take, okay, it used to take 360 before it started repeating itself. Now it only takes um, 180 degrees before it starts repeating itself. So I hope that makes a bit of sense. So basically what's happening is that um, if you put a number, 
okay if you put a number inside the bracket before theta so let's put in the number k okay so what that means is you are multiplying the input by a factor of k you're multiplying the input theta by a factor of k and then putting the input into the sign function to get the output so the period is going to be 360 degrees which is the original period divided by K okay originally it's 360 degrees okay remember how we double the input but then we halve the period as a result of doubling the input so whatever the input was if we multiply it by a factor then we're going to divide the period by the same factor so 180 comes from 360 divided by 2 right because originally it only takes originally it takes 360 degrees before the curve repeats itself but if you double the input it takes half that time so the period is 360 divided by k now um, if you're working in radians so in radians oops in radians the period would be 2 pi over k if you're working in radians same thing because 360 degrees is 2 pi so let's try it okay let's try doing y equals sine 3x and see what the period is so if you do y equals sine 3x you can see here okay let's remove the other two you can see here the curve starts repeating itself at 120 degrees right this is one complete wave up to here then it starts repeating itself so every 120 degrees it starts repeating itself so y equals sine 3 theta or 3x would have a period of 360 over 3 which is 120 degrees or if you're working in radians period would be 2 pi over 3 okay if you're working in radiance okay uh, thanks for watching guys see you next time